Hey guys, it's Neil from Heart of Texas Armory again. And today I got another Holosun review and overview of this optic you see here, which is the HS403B. So this is one of my favorite uh, low budget optics that you can get right now in the market. Uh, really an incredible deal here. Uh, you're well under $200 for this red dot. Uh, if you contact me, I'll, get, I'll, I'll let you know the price on these. It's an incredible deal. Uh, it'll blow your mind how cheap these are for the quality. So you get kind of a an optic that's going to look very similar to like an Aimpoint T2 size-wise and looks, uh, but without the price tag, of course. And you're going to get a lot of nice features with this optic. Uh, now, the four uh, the four zero three series of Holosuns. There's, as far as I know, there's four different optics. So there's the four zero three A, the B, the C, and the G U. So. The differences between those is the A is going to have a battery mount or, or a battery uh, tray that's accessed from underneath the optic. So you have to actually remove the mount to access the uh, battery. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of that. It's not the end of the world because these optics have 50,000 battery life hours. But I prefer this one, which is the B. And you can see here, it actually has a side mounted uh, battery tray. So that's why I like this B version over the A. Other than that, they're pretty much identical. But that is a huge advantage, and you access that by uh, removing those two little screws there and then popping the tray out. But that's uh, the main reason why I like this version over the A. And then the C, just like all, anytime you see a C after a Holosun optic, it means it's solar powered. So they have a solar uh, version of the 403, and that's cool. Uh, a little bit more money than this one, but it's still very, very affordable. And then they have the GU, and that one is going to be basically just like this model, uh, but it's going to have a uh, a large uh, battery compartment here that you just screw off on the side. Um, so those are the four models. This one, again, is the 403B, so it has the side uh, tray for the battery. So let me get the uh, bikini cover off this thing here. Uh, so what's so great about this optic? Obviously first it's going to be the price. Uh, there's really nothing on the market in my opinion besides maybe uh, the primary arms optic, but honestly I, <laughs> this one's a better deal in my opinion. Uh, but uh, so the price is the main thing with this, but you do get some really, really good features with this, this optic. So you get the 50,000 battery hours like I mentioned before because you're using LED technology. Um, you're going to have uh, 10 different settings. So you've got uh, 10 uh, illumination settings, which is really nice. A lot of the cheaper optics aren't going to have that many. And you also have your two lowest settings, which have the uh, night vision compatible. So you're getting a lot of features. Plus, uh, this thing is going to be shockproof, waterproof. Uh, it's going to be a heck of a lot more durable than your, you know, really, really cheap optics that you would you see on Amazon or something like that or eBay. Uh, for instance, um, you know, maybe like the Bushnell TRS 25, which is which is a good little optic, but this is a, a step up in my opinion over the, that type of optic. Uh, you're going to get uh, nice uh, adjustment buttons here, which is which is a, a positive to me. I prefer this setup than the big wheel on the side on some of the cheaper optics. I don't like that to adjust the intensity. I like having the recess buttons like this. To me, that's better. You're going to get a really crisp two uh, MOA dot with these, so. Uh, that's a huge advantage. Uh, a lot of the cheaper, you know, optics are going to have uh, an inferior dot. This thing's going to have a, a crisp two MOA, two MOA dot, just like all the Holosuns. So uh, even with that, you know, really cheap price, you're getting a quality uh, reticle here. You don't get the uh, EOTech style circle and dot. You just get a dot with these. So that's something to keep in mind. The 403s do not have the dual reticles. They only have that dot. Uh, so let's uh, quickly kind of go over the box here. So here's, here's a look at the front of the box. So here's uh, HS403. You'll see here uh, there, uh, 403B. Here's some uh, quick uh, things to look at. So, of course, I mentioned some of these, but let's go over them real quick. So you got the two MOA dot. That's excellent. You got the 50,000 battery hour life. That's also awesome. You got a motion sensor. I forgot to mention, that's another feature. This cheap little, you know, 
optic, you know, these price wise, you get that awesome feature of having the uh, motion sensor. What that means is you can just leave this thing on. You just turn it on. You never have to worry about turning it off. You go set it in the closet or something. It will shut off after a set time. And then the second it senses any motion, boom, the optics back on without you having to push the button. That's a great uh, feature. Uh, memory, which that means if you did shut it off manually, uh, the next time you turn the optic on, it's going to go to the, you know, the last, uh, illumination setting that you had it on. Uh, there's your 10 different, uh, setting, uh, brightness settings. Uh, it comes with a lower mount and a, uh, a higher high mount, which is what, it, what it's on right now. Uh, you'd use the lower mount for, say, a shotgun or AK-47. You've got uh, waterproof, parallax-free, and then this is just some information on the battery. So, uh, like I said, just an amazing set of features for the price. Uh, that's pretty much all the information there. Let's slide this out. Y'all seen these now, if y'all have watched any of my videos kind of similar what most of the hollow suns are going to come like uh, so you'll have your your foam cut out there where your optic will be uh, they give you a cleaning cloth uh, your manual of course we'll look at that in a minute uh, there's your low mount there's a torx uh, screwdriver which is nice and then an extra battery uh, tray which is always handy because if you did lose that you don't have to contact hollow sun for an extra one it's got one in there for you uh, as well as let me pull it out here so you can see uh, kind of how it looks like you know, your battery is going to sit right in here uh, in that little slot. And you'll see that little O-ring around right there, a little O-ring. And I'm thinking the reason really Holosun really uh, hands these out, uh, an extra one, is because they, um, if you damage your O-ring, you've got a backup. That way they don't, have, like I said, have to send you out an additional one. So let's look at the box. We'll get that out of the way. We'll get the manual here. And I'll get it out of this little baggie. Right, and here's a look at your manual. Uh, pretty plain manual, but it's got all the information you'd ever need. Uh, you've got a list of your features. Uh, I'll let you kind of just quickly glance through that. If you want to uh, read through that, you can pause the video and just read that on your own time. We'll go here. There's your battery, CR2032, just like pretty much all the Hall of Suns. Mm. Okay, and we'll continue on. We'll flip this over. Some information on uh, just the basic setup of the optic. Pretty, pretty basic stuff, but it's there. Uh, tells you how to install the battery, which is important. You always want to look at that before you uh, try to install the battery incorrectly. Again, more information on that. And looks like there's information on how to install it onto a Picatinny rail or your rifle. And then we'll flip this open here and look on the inside. There's your, um, some operation stuff, motion sensor. So, looks like it'll go to sleep after eight hours. You can adjust that. Uh, it's all in here. You can read uh, all that and learn how to do that if you want. Of course, zero setting. So, I mean, like I said, it's got a really good, uh, a lot of information here in this, this, you know, it's a small manual, but it's got, got a lot, it's packed full of, of good information. Uh, there's your maintenance and care and your warranty, which um, Hall Sun has a really good warranty. And there's your customer service number if you needed to contact them, a phone number there in the United States and an email. I've uh, talked to them personally. They're uh, really friendly there on the phone. And uh, every time I've called, I've only called a few times, but uh, they always answer the phone really quick. So I'll give them props for that. All right, so there's your optic again. Um, I did try to show that that dot. I don't know if it's going to show up again. Now, that's actually not too bad. You can see a nice crisp reticle right there. So that's uh, a 2MOA two, two dot, which is great for, for pretty much anything. Um, close range is good as well as long range. It's, it's also good. Um, again, if you have a larger MOA, say like a 4 or 5 or 6 MOA dot, at long ranges, that dot's actually going to cover a large portion of your target, whereas this one's going to stay, uh, you know, with a smaller size. Uh, your, your target's going to be more visible with this, so that's that's always a plus. There's your uh, windage and elevations, just like a uh, normal setup on most red dots. Uh, the, the bonus of this is they provide you with a cap. Uh, the cap's got a little screwdriver 
built into it. So I always like that. You know, you can obviously use a screwdriver if you want, but they give you that little end right there, which engages, uh, of course, like that, and you can adjust the windage and elevation. Uh, very positive clicks, and uh, never had a problem with any of uh, the hall signs with that. It's always very uh, quality feeling on the adjustment. So that's a quick look at this uh, optic. I really love it for the price. Um, man, for the money, there's, like I mentioned before, there's really nothing better. Uh, it's not my favorite optic because I like some of the higher end uh, Holosuns over this one because of, you know, maybe that solar cell or protected uh, turrets. But if you're on a budget, man, and you got, say, 150 bucks to spend, shoot, this is, this is the one to go with, guys. And if you want one, like always, just uh, make sure you contact me. My website is heartoftexasarmory.com or you can email me at neil, N-E-A-L, at heartoftexasarmory.com and I'll definitely take care of you. I'll give you the best price you can get on these things. Uh, you won't be disappointed if you contact me. So uh, it'd be worth your while to do that if you're interested in an optic like this. But overall, I give this a huge thumbs up. Uh, man, they're what are, th these things are really changing the the red dot and optic uh, market, in my opinion. You know, this company here is, uh, they're, it's an eye opener. So you'd be abs you'll be absolutely uh, blown away at the quality of these sites for the, the amount of money you're spending. I mean, it's really impressive. So uh, anyways, guys, you got any questions or comments, as always, leave them down below in the uh, comment section of this video and I'll be sure to answer them. Y'all take care.